go for it. It looks quite fast, doesn't it? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It has been a long time since I made a video. But here I am, still here. Still out here, on the bike. It's been one of those years. You know what it's like, everyone's struggling at the moment. And uh, if you're a follower of the channel, you'll know most likely that I had a bereavement to deal with at the beginning of the year. Well, not the beginning, the middle of the year. So I had to go and stay down in Wales for quite a long time. And you know, now my business isn't doing as good as it used to be because the world is like collapsing. So I'm having to work extra hard to try and make the business work. Um, it's just been one of them years. I just haven't had a chance to get out on the bike much. It's not that I don't want to. I really want to get out on it all the time. But it's just a struggle. Finding the time, trying to juggle the business. Oh, and get free time. It's just a nightmare. But we're out here today. Been out a couple of times now. I went out last weekend. Last weekend I headed over to Cambridge, uh, around that area, to that graph and water. That was good. And today I just thought I'd take a little little ride over to sort of, I think I might go Church Stretton today. It's about an hour and a bit away. Just get out of here. So come along with me, let's go. See what we can find today. It's good to be back on the bike though, I tell you. Really good. So we'll get on the M6 and then we'll go down, in fact we'll go all the way up past Birmingham and then head down towards Church, Church Stretton. A mile actually as well, 11 degrees, I can't complain at that. Yeah the last year has been a nightmare. So you have a bereavement, it just buggers your whole system up doesn't it? And then, uh, so we buried my father in August. It's taken quite a while to get over it. Just didn't, you know, you know when you lose motivation to do anything. Probably hit that actually. Just no motivation to get out there at the weekends. Just want to sit there. It's horrible. Even got it a bit now, to be honest, still. You know, like, it's just hard to get back into routine when your life's changes what I try and do is look around and see all the other people with problems and think you know what my problems are minor compared to some of the people that you hear about think how lucky you are but I know one thing's for sure and that is getting out on the bike definitely makes you feel better so I need to do more of this Anyway, let's head on up the motorway and see where we end up. I'll cut out the boring part and I'll see you when we get there, wherever we end up. Or if I see anything exciting, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. As usual, the GoPro is uh, not working 100%, which is quite a regular occurrence with GoPros. As you know, they're very temperamental if you've got one. Um, I think the, the uh, face-on camera here has been working fine, but the one on the helmet just decided to keep crashing all the time. Uh, I pulled over, and because um, to have a look what the message was saying, it was saying low battery, even though the battery had 50% still on it. So luckily I had a cable in my pocket. Usually I use a battery pack just in my pocket, but today, the missus robbed that to use that for something she's doing so luckily I had a cable with me so I've just plugged it in and then just rigged it up around here so it's plugged in at the moment it won't charge while you're using it but it will charge if I turn the camera off again so just heading to Church Stretton and I can see the hills starting in front of me now so I just wanted to pull over and get this camera working again which it is so let's go it's so good being back on the bike though uh, it's been such a good healer Making me feel a bit better actually, a bit more relaxed. Weather's not that great. 
but who cares the sun is trying to break through if you can see it up there so you never know you might get a bit of sunshine so we're just a couple of miles from church stretton now some of you may have seen my video before when i came here it's a lovely place to just just a quick uh quick ride out from mine it takes about an hour and a half to get here but it's uh hills and horses and sheep and tracks everything you need i hope you're all okay i've had a lot of emails from people lately asking where i am and am i coming back i am still here thanks for all the emails as well really appreciate it i hope you're all having a good good life and had a good year and had plenty of adventures I know a lot of people use some of my videos to find places to go to. I had a lot of emails just thanking me for information and stuff, which was good. This year, I, well, I'm going to be doing a lot more riding again through the winter like I did last year. I like to think while everyone's putting their bikes away, I'll be getting mine out. Um, in fact, I quite like it up there in the winter, up these mountains and hills, because you don't get that many people. During the summer, it's absolutely mobbed, so... Yeah, I'm happy to be out here when the weather's not so good. I did buy a heated vest the other week and I've been trialling that just to have a go and yeah, it feels good. So if it gets really cold, I'll start using that. That's actually why I haven't got the battery pack today because uh, my missus, she's gone up the Peak District today with her friends walking and she wanted to use the heated vest that I bought and she stole the battery pack to use on it. So that's why I had all the drama with that battery. But it seems to be recording now. Think bye. Oh, this is good. This is really good. Got the heated grips on today a little bit. The last time I came up here, it was really clear, I think, yeah. And I got my chair out and sat down and had a coffee at the top but today it's very overcast and dull but I find when you come in the different weathers it all, all feels different a whole different experience so here we are we have arrived at Church Stratton so we're going to head right here and go to Carding Mill Valley oh it's on green nearly missed that it's a nice little village actually Village, town, I'm not sure. Okay. We'll go straight on here. Long Mind. That's the one we're going on. Long Mind. Because a lot of people always email me saying, oh, where, you, where do you go? So I just say head for Long Mind. That's spelled M-Y-N-D. And then that'll get you right up onto the top of the hills here. After I came here last time, I did actually get um, a, an email from someone saying how bad I am doing videos around here. He said, I'm attracting more of my kind to come here with their bikes. <laughs> if you look down there, is that where that big drop is? Look, busy down there today, actually. So if you want to come in the car, or the bike, you can park down there if you fancy going for a hike and then walk all around these hills, there's a river down there and it's really nice so let's keep climbing I'll just stop here and let them come pointless going up and then having to roll back can't believe how many Teslas there are around now Lisa, so thank you. I hate them ones that don't say thanks, that really gets to me. Wonder if we'll see any of the wild horses today. Usually I'll stop for a coffee up here, but today I didn't bring anything. In fact, I haven't got any panniers on today. Just me and the bike. And my wallet. So if anything goes wrong, I've got nothing. So 
some great views around here. Well, there's some horses, ponies. Stretton Hill ponies. And there's one of those mad cyclists riding up the hills. Fair play to them, must be fit. When you go to um, Hard Knock Pass and see him going up there, I should have said to him, do you want to grab hold of my pannier bars? It's actually quite busy up here today, I wasn't expecting to see this many people. They got the right idea, stopping for a coffee. No thanks from him. Some beard that is. So in the summer this is where I normally just pull over up here somewhere. And just set up for a bit. Get my chair out. Get a coffee on. Usually just ride over that bit there I think. Just park up there. It is a good view behind, but it's uh, very overcast today, so I don't think you can actually see anything. Yeah, it's really overcast. Here's another bike. Oh, I love it up here. But it's kind of like Wales in the mountains. Well, there's a lot of water on the road there. Must have been raining earlier. He obviously doesn't like GS's look. Or she. Oh. Just saw a track back there with no sign saying no access. So I'm thinking go back and have a little look. Need to find somewhere to turn around here, this will do. Let's go back. Yeah, there was a track up here that was going down that way. Um, which I've never been down, so I thought I'd go back and have a look. Here. There was nothing saying that we're not allowed down here. So, we'll just have a little ride along, see where we come out. Change the mode to, let's go dynamic. Actually, no, let's go Enduro. stop for a second and just take it all in these surroundings perfect this is perfect <sighs> when I set out on a ride today this is exactly that always happens, the beep. When I set out on this ride today, this is exactly what I needed. Just like this. Just escape into the countryside like this. Perfect. Bike's looking good. Looking very nice. 
still love it so much, just like the day I bought it. And I know a couple of you that are watching the video, I know a few of you have got the same one now. Good choice. I think that one, this um, this colour, the Kalamata, and the triple black, is definitely the two colours that I love the most. It's a lovely looking bike. So this is Church Stratton. Right, let's head down the track and see what's happening. Did have a couple of cyclists pass me a minute ago. We'll go down a bit anyway, and if uh, <coughs> it looks like it's not going anywhere, we'll turn around, head back up to the road.
Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous, isn't it? Every time I park the bike, someone pulled up. Let's see if today is the same as always. Bit of wind just adds to the the adventure of it all. And no one's here. Great. All right, let's crack on. Probably go down to the town for a coffee soon, or village, whatever it is. Just down there. All right, let's carry on. So earlier on this year, you probably remember I got this Gore-Tex coat, Gore-Tex jacket. Brilliant, love it. So nice. They just seem to keep your body at one temperature underneath. You don't seem to feel the breeze so much. And also, when it rains, it's brilliant. Because um, my last jacket wasn't waterproof. Well, it was waterproof, but it wasn't Gore-Tex. So, yeah, this is great. See ya. I love that place. As we come down this hill we're just coming in towards church stretton again and it's really a lovely place um lovely cottages and as you'll see as we enter it now um and we've just done a full loop around the hills and we'll just go into church stretton now and find somewhere to have a nice cuppa now if you turn right here back, let's just go and have a look there is a bit up here where there's a little stream and stuff, it's really nice. Oh, I've got a little board there, look.
Yeah, this place will do. Perfect. So just stop for this nice pot of tea and a bit of Victoria sponge. Can't go wrong. Let's have a go. Mmm. Yeah. That is good. That's just hitting the spot. Well, that didn't last long. Time to hit the road again. Just trying to work out a good route back now. Okay, that's the gear all back on again. I'll tell you one thing. One thing that is I don't like is getting all the gear back on. You know, after you stop somewhere, and then you have to get all the gloves and the coat and make sure it's all tucked in, otherwise you'll be freezing. That's the one thing I hate. So I looked at the map, and there is another way. And just cut across towards Worcester, and then get on the M5, and then hit the M42 and back down that way. Because uh, I don't fancy going back down the M6 again and all that. We'll go a different way. As I was riding along this road, I wanted to turn left somewhere because I knew the general direction that I wanted to go. So I saw a left turn and I did a U-turn and headed back up to go down this little lane that I saw. But little did I know what I was about to face down there. Two hours the end of this episode i hope you all enjoyed it 
If you haven't been to Church Stretton before, then I highly recommend a little ride out there. Sorry about the sound issues in the video today. There was a little problem with the mix, so I did notice there was quite a bit of wind noise when I was trying to edit it. And um, that's why there was quite a bit of music. Um, but also, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, then I'd really appreciate it if you could do that. And if you haven't hit the like button for today's video, then please hit the like button. It will help the channel grow. Um, have fun, guys. Take care out there and ride safe. And I'll see you in the next video.